end. Dispatch logs raise new questions about the fatal crash involving a cop. The APD sergeant claims he was going after a drunk driver when he crashed into a car, killing a young woman and seriously injuring her sister. But does his story add up? Police dispatch logs don't seem to support it. Let's get to News 13's Crystal Gutierrez with the details. Crystal? Dick, Sergeant Adam Casals claims he had his emergency lights and siren on at the time of the crash. Now, APD won't even say if he was on duty, and what we found in the logs might have you questioning the rest of his story. It was the early Sunday morning call that APD Sergeant Adam Casals made just moments after his police SUV slammed into a Honda CRV carrying two sisters at the intersection of Paseo del Norte and Eagle Ranch. One sister died, the other rushed to the hospital with a broken spine. Casals has been assigned desk duty. Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputies are investigating to avoid a conflict of interest. Right after the crash, this is what Casals claimed. Sounds like the sergeant was trying to locate a, a drunk driver. Investigators say Casals claims he had his lights and siren on, so we requested dispatch logs from that night. It shows Casals going on call after call starting around 4 p.m., then at 9.50 p.m., he clears his final call. His shift is over at 11 p.m. He's not heard from again until 1.30 in the morning when he calls in his own crash. This is 16 p.m. been involved in a 45. I'll be at a... Casals never called in that he was in pursuit of a DWI suspect, and dispatch never called out to be on the lookout for a possible drunk driver in that area. Also, APD won't say if he was working overtime, but we do know he's not listed on the DWI saturation patrol log for that night. It appears only Casals may know what he was doing before the crash that left Lindsay Browder badly injured and her sister, Ashley, a 21-year-old member of the National Guard, dead. 6 nine, go ahead. we're going to need a fatal call. Now, sources tell us Casals' wife, Tanya, is a dispatcher for the Sheriff's Department. VCSO would not confirm that, but the county's website shows there is a dispatcher named Tanya Casals. And we wanted to know if this was or could be a conflict of interest for VCSO, but no comment. Back to you. All right, Crystal. Investigators drew blood from the 19-year-old driver to see if she was drunk or high. Those test results could take weeks. We wanted to know if Sergeant Casals' blood is being tested, too but neither APD nor BCSO would answer our question about that.